Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from holocrysellers.com. Today I'm going to show you how to flash firmware on older Samsung devices. I'll demonstrate all the steps using a Samsung S24 Ultra with Odin. For S25 or newer devices, or if this simpler method doesn't work for you, make sure to check out our previous video that shows how to flash using a PID file. To flash the device, the first thing you need is Odin. I'll leave a link to the patch version in the video descriptions. What the patched version allows basically is flashing compatible firmwares other than the original one. For example, flashing S928U1 firmware on an S928U. Once you've downloaded Odin, you'll need the correct firmware for your phone. The easiest way is to go to samfw.com. Just type in your exact model number. For example, S936U and download the firmware for your model with the same bit version or a newer one. If you're not sure about the bit version, check the fifth character of the baseband version in your phone settings or in recovery mode. But in most cases, downloading the latest firmware for a model will work just fine. I usually use one of the last two download options and get the file directly from some FW server. Once downloaded, the firmware will come as a zip file, so you'll need to extract it. You can use 7-zip, WinRAR, or even the built-in Windows extractor. It's a large file, so it may take some time. Once extracted, you'll see several files, BL, AP, CP, CSC, and, some, and sometimes user data. Now let's load the files into Odin. BL goes to BL, AP goes into the AP slot, this one takes longer to load, and Odin might freeze or say not responding, don't worry, just wait. CP goes into CP. For CSC, use home CSC if you want to keep your data, or the regular CSC file for a clean flash. User data is optional, it's mostly for carrier branded firmware, so you can skip it if it is not needed. For this basic flash, you don't need to change any other settings in Odin. Let's keep it simple and safe. Now let's prepare the phone. To enter download mode on most newer Samsung phones, power off the device, press and hold volume up, volume down, and while holding, plug the phone into the PC. For some other models, you may need to hold power and volume down instead. You'll see a blue warning screen. Press volume up again to enter full download mode. At this point, the phone should appear in Device Manager as Samsung modem, and Odin will show it as a green COM port. Once everything is set up, the phone is in download mode, and the files are loaded, press Start in Odin. The flashing process will begin, and you'll see different partitions being flashed one by one. Don't touch the phone or disconnect it during this process. When it's done, the phone will reboot automatically, and you're good to go. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others. And for the best unlock services and professional GSM tools, check out unlockresellers.com. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.